Hello everybody, it's PJ, back with another video helping you increase your knowledge in online media. For so many years, people have been struggling with adding a face cam to mobile live streaming. What I mean is that when you play with your phone while you're using that same device to live stream, you end up having to either place your phone on a tripod to keep it still so that your face cam will not be that blurry or moving image while at the same time you make sure that your fingers won't be in the way of the front facing camera of your phone and that has been the same thing for years nobody has found a way to fix that which is why mobile live streamers prefer to use a capture card from their phone to their laptop or their pc and then add a face cam or a webcam from there but the problem is not everyone has that privilege to get those devices. Everybody can have a laptop, but it's not guaranteed that that laptop can live stream, you know, games. Especially the fact that just from capturing uh, the mobile device's display is already hard enough for the CPU. And also some people don't have the budget to buy a capture card. So how do you do that because that's like the best streaming setup that people would prefer to watch rather than just watching you play games while your face cam is moving from you playing around. So this video is gonna be all about that how you can duplicate or mimic that setup just by using your phone another device like an extra phone a smartphone or a laptop or a computer that has a webcam and using prism live studio with no extra budget needed if you have those that i just listed there so let's start by the way disclaimer this only works for android devices so if you're on ios i mean your phone is playing games on an ios device it won't work this will only work for android because ios doesn't support uh app overlays yet so let's let's get started so in order to do this, you need to go to your external device or your secondary device, the one that you're not using to play games, because that's going to be your camera. So now you're somehow uh, connecting the dots on what is supposed to be happening. So yeah, we are going to be using that external device as a camera, a wireless camera, and connect that to your Prism Live Studio mobile app. So you need to go to your external device I'm using my laptop you can do this on a smartphone but when you're using an iOS device for the webcam not as a gaming device for your webcam you need to use Safari so now you're on your external device you need to go to obs.ninja that's the only website you need to go to that's the only thing you need to do you don't need to download any software whatsoever just go to this a website so you'll be introduced to this now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna instantly add add your cam or click add your camera to OBS I'm gonna make another video soon about this website how you can do lots of things with this website but for now we're just gonna use it to add as a wireless face cam for your phone so now you're gonna have a video source which is your uh, integrated webcam or do if you have an external webcam or an additional webcam you can do that as well audio source you can also uh, if you have a microphone you can also just import a microphone example if you have this you can just use this microphone and use it as your face cam microphone instead of relying on the microphone on your gaming device or your phone or your or your headphones but since we i don't need it right now i'm just gonna choose no audio and now it's either you can put a password or not it, it's up to you i i prefer not so i'll just press start so once you press start you'll be introduced to this now you can see me right now and what you're gonna do after is that you see this link up here it's also the same thing when you're on uh, your mobile browser so this is the link that links this view to other devices so if you, I have another like website right now, or if you can just open it in your browser, you can just paste this link and you can actually view my camera. 
So think of it as some sort of uh, wireless CCTV sort of camera. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna copy it. So I finally copied it or you could just do the same thing as this one and then just copy it, control C. And what you're gonna do next is that you're just gonna send that link to your gaming device so that your gaming device can just copy it unless if you want to manually type it but i don't i don't think we want that you know it it takes a lot of time just prefer to copy it just send it either email it or, or text it to your to your phone but since i'm using an emulator i can just you know do this so once i finally copied it now we go to our gaming device the one where you're gonna use to live stream so once you do that, you're gonna have to open Prism Live Studio, which I already have opened. And once you're here, you can either go on the recording or the live. And then once you're, you click the live, make sure that your camera is off. You don't want it to be on. Now that your camera is off, you just have to swipe right from left to right, swipe right, and then you have studio. This is where you can add layers. That's why I told you this won't work on iOS devices. It will only work for Android. So with here, you can just add a widget. Click a widget and then just click on web. Now on web, you can, you can, you see that there is URL or title and then lock layer. We can put the title like uh, OBS Ninja. Just so you can be familiarized with widget this is. And under URL, you can just paste the link that you got from your external device. So now that you got your link, you can just click on save. Okay guys, so here we have the OBS Ninja here, which I already placed the link. I mean, yeah, the link from the browser. And it, once you click on it, you can just drag it on any position that you like. So you can do that. You can even uh, do it full screen if you want to. But I don't really want that. So you can just do that if you want to. You can just resize it like that, position it. You can do something like that. I prefer to state like that the only problem is you cannot uh, crop it so you need to actually like um, how do you say that you need to adjust of it because the the size is too big but if you really want to do a face cam you can do that though like imagine if you're a youtuber and you just want to react to you know uh watching a film or something you can do the same thing as this but if it's for gaming you can still do this just make sure that there are no games that uh, cover the higher areas you know like you're seeing at the top left make sure there are no buttons on the top left because the face cam will be in the way and you won't be able to press it you need to have the face cam in the position where there aren't any buttons behind it because if you have a button be because if you have a button behind the face cam, you can't press that button. That's because the app is overlaying the game. So if you press that, you're basically pressing the face cam and not the button. So make sure you position it to where it's not in any way of the buttons whatsoever. And now you can finally mimic a streaming setup like it's been live streamed on PC. If you learned a lot in this video leave a like and subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell for more updates on my uploads everything because it it's it really motivates me to do more of these videos and of course leave more in the comments below what tutorial i should do next of course i see prism live studio as a big way for gamers to like improve their style on how to live stream and how to make their mobile live streams look better than it supposed to be so hopefully i can get more tutorials about prism live studio so thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video